okay. Found oil though. Yay. Anyway, we'll, we'll, uh, something's fun. here. I want to see what's in this past room. Something's here. Okay. Um. What can I use to barricade the door? A chair. Yeah. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I was looking for the last 20 odd years. Blah, blah, blah. My token. <laughs> My token feels on steroids. Out of the way. This I don't know. Very dusty. The place hasn't been cleaned for like a hundred years. Alexander, you lazy dog. Why does Scott leave his journals everywhere? Like I literally everywhere. I know. The most org I thought I wasn't organized. He needs like, uh, like I want to staple it all together. Just put it in a huge book. You know what, I just want to go to Staples, buy him a filing cabinet, and give it to him. This there we go, buddy, you need this. I think these are main character journals. Oh. Scared. Yeah, no, yeah now, now you're scared. To be? To be or, or not, not to be. be? That is the question. And it, apparently this won't help us. And the question can go screw itself on the ass. What's with all these drawings of skulls and inside of I don't know, Alexander had a fetish for that kind of stuff, maybe. Is that a portrait of him up there? Yeah, there we go. This is something of a Harry Potter game. Don't you notice? <laughs> yeah. Alien. Oh, he's ugly. Wait, hold on! Cleft chin, big forehead. Cleft chin, big forehead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found another diary. Anatomy Frontiers, 1658 to January 9th. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yield nothing. I'm still unable to gasp the inner working of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject I suspect it will be in the. Damn, he's broke. Oh, 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 he's broke. Oh no. It's like his 11th grade science project. Eh. Hold on. I don't know what to do. Here Throw the bunny. Hey. Jesus! Jump out, jump out. Hold on. The bunny will save him. Jump out. We're freed. We're freed. Well, not really. If I jump down here, I'll die. Oh god! Did you see that? No. One of the trees fell down. Oh yeah, I saw that. What the hell? They meant something else. What, what else could I be talking about? There's a tree that fell down. Hold on. I thought it was like a monster. The less things in his house, the less he has to clean up. Room's messy. What happened to you anyways? I want to touch it. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? Uh, I don't get what these are, these little soda cans, or whatever you like to call them. You touch them and then it's just this short love story. I don't get that. Like, they explain a lot in the game, but they just don't explain what that is. It looks like some ancient relic. Um... Was it just Small cog? I think so. Yeah, you make a good point. Jesus Christ, how could one guy live in a mansion so big? 
Maybe our relatives. I mean, God damn it. This would have been a good place to host Animal House. You ever yeah, see that, that movie, Animal House? Yeah, this looks like one of their, it could be one of their college dorms. Yeah, elevator machine. machine instructions. Oh, this is how to fix the elevator. Yay. Uh, I have to run around. Get some gears. You know, it feels like I'm housekeeping after Alexander. I'm just cleaning up all this crap that he left behind. I'm basically cleaning up the place, and the thing keeps on... I mean, look at this. Wow, John Belushi went haywire in this room. Yeah, this is like Animal House times 10. They collapse the damn ceiling. And I'm running out of oil. I'm using oil when oil is not to be needed. Oh, there's no oil left. I got two oil. Two, two oil. oil canisters. Anyway, yeah. Find the rod. Oh my god! That's what I'm talking about. Look, a second tree goes. What is the goo doing? I don't really know what that goo is. I don't know how it hurts you. Rods and... I think we're done here. I'm getting out of here, actually. This room's creepy, even though there's no monsters in here. Oh, actually, I think there's a part in the game where there's like three of them that attacks you out of nowhere. But it's having a couch of cocktail party. non tricks and whatnots. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, you scared that guy later today? Yeah, I scared him too. I scared him too. Yeah. The guest room. I bought his glasses again. And the trunk. They kind of look like John Lennon's. Well, not really, but. Oh, that would be funny. The Beatles playing this. Oh god. I would watch like John Lennon's reaction. Oh, John Lennon went out of the room. Shut up, Ringo. Shut up. God, I'm gonna run out of the room soon. But I can't. I must. He has do so this. many studies and so many books he can possibly read. How on. does he get all these books? I know every single bookshelf in the game. How many books do you need, and where does he get them from? Well, at least he has oil everywhere, but that's good. The second of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After, After search searching for days, they found, they found the camp abandoned, abandoned without, without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, Tomorrow I'll, I'll retrieve, retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. house. I, don't I don't know what, what to make of it, but I'm, but I'm worried for, for him. Nah, he'll be alright. He always comes out in the end. Welcome to the bedroom. Crowbar. Oh. Like Half-Life. You know, you don't get weapons in the game, but you have a crowbar. You could just use that as a weapon. Just beat the monsters to death. 3rd of July, 1839. Today, Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, We covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed, he pushed his men to investigate the underground, the underground tomb, tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness, Madness spread, spread through the ranks, and, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. To continue. He finally he visits the chamber himself, where he, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account, his account confuses, confuses me greatly. If he, if he has, has the orb, what are, what are those pieces in my, in my drawing room? room? Yes, I wonder. I'm looking for tinder boxes. I need to light stuff up next time it gets dark. I don't have much oil. A bed. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Go out, out. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You 
You'll see. Creepy suggestive smile. Why did I open? How many deaths are here? Yeah, I know. And there's only one guy living here, so what the hell? There's probably a bad guy behind there. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar the proved unnecessary. It, it was pushed, pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their, on their own, with no, with no adhesive. The ancient, the ancient stone relic now rests on my table. table. It's, it's a immaculate surface and perfect, perfect shape. Could, could have been molded by a factory. This is, this is all too, too strange. strange. I don't think he's narrating a book. Like Morgan Freeman. Yeah, I know. Oh, shit! Oh, God! He's in the room. Oh, crap. Close it, close it, close it, close it. Close it, 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 close